World War I, the start. 1914, when that Australian guy got shot dead. Says Austrian here. Uh, stock market crash of... 1929, October. Yeah. Scopes trial. 1925, Tennessee. Can you see through these? No! Are you sure? Yes. Uh-huh. All right, okay. What happened December 7th, 1941? Bombing of Pearl Harbor. Yeah, right again. Mm -hmm. January 3rd, 1959. Alaska becomes the 49th state. July 6th, 1954. July 6th, 1954. You should know this one, Hillary. Don't tell me. Uh, something about McCarthy. No. No. Uh, polio vaccine. No. What? Tell me. It's my birthday. <laughs> like, I'm very sure that's going to be on the test. <laughs> Just very sure. You must be Mr. Wilson. That's right. I'd like just a minute of your time. Who's she? Uh, five. Who are you? Iovine. Madam Iovine. All on the second floor. One on the third. Ah. <laughs> not much storage, is there? Oh, not criticizing, just commenting. Uh, let's see what we have up here. Let's just start all over again. What do you want? Lodging. This is an inn, isn't it? Wait a minute. Are you the one who talked to Sue Appleton at a hotel with... <laughs> Obliging woman, yeah. isn't she? Didn't she tell you that we're not open yet? Yes, she did. And how we said for lavatories. My, what a handsome child. Yours. Uh, yeah. Going to be a heartbreaker, this one. Just give him a few years. This is Hillary. His daughter. Oh, well, don't you worry, child. The chess will be along any time now. Oh, and what do we have here? Well, I must say I wasn't overly impressed with the rest of it, but this is grand. Simply grand. Listen, madam. I lied. How much for three nights? Yeah, take a look over here. See that hole where door normally goes? All that sawdust out in the hall? That, we're not open yet. You're going to have to make other arrangements. 
What about the hotel in town? Oh, no. No, 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 not the hotel. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You can tell me. How much? Three nights, five rooms, and your price. Uh, you know, Dad, I could just sweep up all this sawdust. <laughs> So, what's the story? Do we unload or don't we? Your price, Mr. Wilson. If you want to stay here, you're going to have to do without some of the usual amenities, all right? Grand. Simply grand. Okie doke. Every man for... that you'll find this is usable. Sharon and I, I believe you'll be comfortable right over here. And uh, Jana, Spall, please. Reeve, Reeve, you and Omeri over here. A new bulb. Ben, uh, by the way, I'm Ben Wilson. Spall. Spall. So, you folks, you've been on the road long? Our tour began some time ago. Uh, where are you, uh, where are you all from? South California. Southern California? Not there, Mr. Oscar. Up here on the third floor. Come on, hurry. Maybe they haven't started yet. Still got paint in my hair. What are you doing? Just put your hair up. So everyone will think I'm a handsome little boy. Forget you, come Charlie. On, come on. Oh no. They already started. It's okay. It's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we'll be the first ones at the reception. Come on. Oh, those church bells they haven't rung in 10, 12 years, man. Someone said 18. Storm yeah. of 73. Regardless, they got to be rusted up pretty good. Climbed the belfry yesterday, first time. It's quite a mess I inherited. Yeah, no, no doubt. I, um, excuse me, just a second. Can I help you, Here's Miss? Here's some money. Okay. Quick. Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. It's for the dollar. You're going to dance with Uncle Doug? It's 20. All I got. Thank you. Hillary, I'm sure he's got change. I understand you used to be a contractor? Yeah, yeah, still am. Stop by for a look, Ben. Maybe what we need is someone like you. Local citizen, man good with his hands. What if the rest of them were as good as those hands? Ben, 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 I never expected to see you here. What are you doing drinking that skunk piss? Oh, come on. Hey, let me treat you up to the good stuff. How about 10 cases of Heineken here? Oh, I'm all set. Thanks. Oh, that's right. I heard you had a little trouble with the hooch lately. Well, you tried the hors d'oeuvres, haven't you? Good, good. Oh, that cake. You gotta have a piece of that. Take some of it home with you, man. I paid for half of everything here, man. And what's mine is yours. Right? It's all in the family. Right there. I didn't know you two were related. I was married to the judge's daughter, Carol, and she's passed away. I'm sorry? I'm nearly as sorry as some of them.
Why did you even come here? See, I got this invitation. You got an announcement. Good night, Reverend. I didn't actually see the accident myself, Reverend, but other people did. And they say... Why don't they just leave bad enough alone, right? Oh, that's right. And you just leave. That's what you do best, isn't it? That girl deserves a better father, Reverend. What kind of man can run away while his wife dies? What kind of man? Then you tell me that, huh? Would you just let it go? Would you just please stop? Every day. More and more like your mother every day. Hillary! Ooh, Dad, did you see that? Ooh, yeah. Oh, and another. Yeah, look it's at, a look at. shower. It's, uh... Wow. Percy or something. No, 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 no. That's it's August. Yeah. This is another one. What's that tune? What? The one from piano class? The one Mom used to play. What's it called? You know. Na 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 na. na. I just have this picture of her sitting at the piano playing that one song. That stuff your grandfather was saying tonight. Oh, that. I know it's a bunch of garbage. Doesn't he want to sleep inside? Shh, shh, shh. It's not. Should we ask him? Uh, I don't want to wake him up. Come on. Well, he can't sleep like that. Well, apparently he can. Let's go. Now, it might get kind of cold tonight, so you need a blanket or anything? Just that. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> okay, get some sleep. Good night. For Elise. Hmm? The song your mother used to play. Bum, 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 bum. For Elise. For Elise. Hi, hi. I just, I was just, I was making sure that uh, I just thought it smelled, it smelled something. I was just making sure that. What sort of smell, Mr. Wilson? S uh, smoky, sweet, kind of smoky. Tea. Just tea.
know what you're thinking. Oh, look. There it is. They used to call them kissing bridges. Because? Because, in the old days, when kids would go out on a hayride, they'd stop under the bridge to kiss. Where no one could see them. Are you sure they call them kissing bridges? Nothing else? Mm. Five minutes. We'll be home in five minutes. Mm. Time me. <laughs> Get it. Thank you very much. Late again, Mr. Quish. Well, come in. Come in. Your things are all waiting for you upstairs. Oh, yeah. Good example. Mm -hmm. Most Gothic oh. Versailles, isn't it? Queen Anne, actually. Mr. Quish? Mr. Wilson, he owns this house. And he's staying here with us. Really? How uncommon. <laughs> so nice of you to join us. And how was your ride? My ride? Mm hmm Oh, yes. Thank you. Fine. My ride here was no trouble whatsoever. <laughs> um, come on, Mr. Wish. Come along. I'm sure that you'll want to bathe and change, and I know that Mr. Wilson would like to retire. Come on. Sure. I know, I know, you didn't expect to work till June, but... Oh, no bother at all. Morning. Morning. Why'd you sleep? You kidding? That's the Rolls Royce of motor coaches. Good, great. How do you take your coffee? Black and sassy. Oh. Up. Yeah, I heard Stern's up there. Supposed to do some sightseeing today. Yeah. Where, Where are they it? headed? Well, here, as far as I know. Green Glen? Yeah. <laughs> Dandy little town. Must be nice if you're city types. Yeah. What city are they from? I don't believe they mention. Where'd you hook up with them? Oh, about 10 miles this side of Middleton. Huh? There isn't anything 10 miles this side of Middleton. Which is where I found him. Just standing dead center of nowhere, bags piled up beside the road. Huh. A little odd. Uh, I hope I'm wearing wonderful aromas. Yeah, here you are. Look at the furniture. Oh, uh, wow. What a beautiful day. Hi, Hello. Good morning. I wonder if they're comfortable. Hello. Very bright, isn't it? Good morning. Here we are. I believe it's open. I heard one of them say something about the spectacle. What's that? Spectacle? Huh? Sure wasn't festival, because there's that uh, River Days Festival over there in Galley County. No, I don't think so. No. Rutabaga Festival in Cloverdale. 
No, this was the spectacle. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what I did find just a taste odd. I mean, they're supposed to be tourists, right? Yeah. I haven't seen one of them with a camera. Not a one. Grand warning, isn't it? It's shaping up pretty interesting. Never seen so many thin people in one room before. Radio Versailles. 1919. Tennessee Valley Authority. 1933. My birthday. 1954. Don't you forget it. It's the wrong day. What? It's not Sadie Hawkins Day. No, oh, my kid, the genius. Okay, good luck. see the logic of replacing these bells and they're solid bronze they're gonna outlive you and me both the rest of this stuff though ah, it's pretty bad yeah yeah see rusted clear through it's got to be rebuilt all of it is it something you could do uh, i don't know it's a pretty big job maybe you should just talk to somebody who specializes in this kind of thing there's one company up in columbus i don't even want to tell you what they charge us uh-huh. Maybe you could get started once the inn is up and running. Well, could be summer, late summer. Bells haven't rung in 18 years. That's well, a few more months. Uh-huh. I take this job, I don't have to fix this thing, too, do I? <laughs> this is a miracle. It still works. <laughs> it's a little fast, but it works. This is a piece of engineering, this is. I found some old uh, newspapers up here. And there was a story about the uh, sleigh, the, uh, the horse. It's terrible how it happened. I didn't know Carolyn, of course, but uh, I couldn't help but feel for her. For you both. It's done with her, Robert. Okay. It seemed like the judge thought so. Not the other night at the reception. <laughs> well, and why don't you just take it up with him? Because trust me, he's the only one who wants to talk about it anymore.
fine. Really? Here, just put them in the truck. I'll get them with that. Friend of yours, Ben? No, no, no. He's uh, he's just staying with us up at the inn. That's a lateral view, Ben. No fractures, nothing unusual. Morano view. See it? Huh? It doesn't show up in the lateral photo. It's that thin. And it's perfectly centered behind the optic nerves. What is it? That's what I asked him. And? He wouldn't say. Wouldn't say a thing. Truck's over there. A walk? Thank you. Oh. Dangerous habit you have walking. Besides, we still gotta talk about the x-ray. An abnormality of the photographic process, that's all it was. You needn't attach any significance to it. None whatsoever. San Mateo County, California, 1906. Lakehurst, New Jersey, 1937. Spirit Lake, Washington, 1980. How did you... Funny, you know, it looks like a regular passport on the outside. But on the inside... I'd like that back, please. On the inside, it's got all these weird stamps. Now, first, I, I waste a lot of time trying to figure out why would someone need a passport to travel around inside the country? Please, we're supposed to keep those with us at all times. And I got started on the dates. How could anybody have been to all those places, all those years? Give it back. Tell me something, Mr. Quish. What year are you from? the end. Why my place? Hey, you want it back or not? Talk to me. I'll say one thing, Mr. Wilson, and believe me when I tell you it is more than I should say. Leave. Today. Take your family and do not come back until you're absolutely certain it is safe for you to do so. Sue, oh, hi. hi, Ben. How'd it work out with those tourists? Fine. Have, you, have you seen Hillary? I mean, she usually waits for me over by the bike rack when I'm late. Oh, I haven't. Sorry. She left. She, you saw her? What? She wasn't walking home, was she? She left with some man. Man? Some man? What man? Uh, Mr. Talbert, excuse me. Uh, ben Wilson, somebody just said that my daughter left with some man. Hillary? Yeah. I thought you knew. Knew wh what? He told me it was all arranged. Who did? Grandfather, the judge. They aren't here, Ben. They, they really are. She's all right, Ben. I know that isn't very consoling right now, but please try not to make things any worse than they already are. took my daughter. I want to file a complaint, and then I want you to go out there, and you get that son of a bitch, and you haul his ass in. It's a writ of temporary custody, Ben. Signed this day, May 2nd, by the Honorable Albert T. Riskin in executing the county seat. Riskin? Was he one of your country club buddies or something? What the hell did you say about I can't believe this! Single parent, Ben. Financially unstable. Alcoholic tendencies. 
Wife who died under questionable circumstances. Wasn't a hard sell. She's then. my daughter. Yes, but in time we're hoping she'll overcome that handicap. Hey, 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 hey! Where's she at? Where you got her? I'm not an unreasonable man, Ben. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Back off. Let him alone. You. He can't do this. He can't uh -uh. do this to me. It's your call, Judge. You go near that girl in the next 72 hours, and this son of a bitch is gonna slam you in jail so fast, you're gonna make a solid boom. Now you get him the hell out of here. He took my daughter! He just took her away from me! How does it feel, Ben? Oh, how does it feel? Leaving us, Mr. Wilson? Just run into the goodwill. Can I carry something? Got it. Thanks. You haven't seen Oscar around, have you? He mentioned something about going to do some business at the charter oh. office, but he should be back soon. Why not wait? Not that important. Heads up. Perhaps you'd like to leave him a note. I'd be happy to see that he gets it. Thanks anyway. I understand there was a mishap with Mr. Quish this morning, and you came to his assistance. A bunch of people did. Well, we're certainly appreciating the fact that you did, as I'm sure he did. Uh, well, did you have to attempt to talk some you and Mr. Quish? What did he... Oscar, 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 I don't know his last name. He's one of your bus drivers. Well, I tried to remember. Listen, ju would you just, just tell him to call Ben Wilson over at the Appleton Hotel? Right, the Appleton Hotel. Yes, thank you, Bob. Looks like it's number five. Okay, here. No, don't you even so, think about on. it. No, no, no. We're getting ready to sit down to supper. You want to join us? Australia? No, I got it covered. So, why did you move out, Ben? Hey, you only miss them when they're gone, right? I never asked you to leave. Yeah, well, that's because you never talked to me. Well, maybe I was waiting for you. Maybe I wasn't allowed to speak first. So, how do you like your tea, Ben? Strong, I bet. She sent you, didn't she? Madam Ivine, to find out if I know, right? We know you know, Ben. That's obvious. Question is, what are you going to do about it? <sighs> it really is tea. Mildly euphoric, but it is. And better than what you were drinking before.
We're just tourists, Ben. That's all. We're not going to harm you or anyone. So why did Quish tell me to leave? Mm. He shouldn't have. It's against all the rules. What rules? <laughs> the rules that say we can't talk about the rules. Well, okay. Let's talk about you. Reeve, who you are and who you aren't. Well, who aren't we, Ben? Who do you think? I'm sick of it, all right? I'm sick of your whole damn act. Now, if you came up here to drum up some little tea party, I ain't interested. But if you came up here to convince me not to talk, not to tell people what little I do know, then you damn well better start talking and start talking to me. And I do not mean in circles. I want you to imagine something. I want you to think of a very different place that doesn't even exist in this imaginary world. All is grand. You don't need to work. You're never sick. You're never hungry. You're never cold nor hot. You're healthy and safe from the day you're born. And until the day you die, nothing ever goes wrong. It's a grand world, Ben. Most perfect. And that's its one flaw. So, I told you what I imagined, Ben. Now you tell me what you imagined the future oh, of when you were watching at my door tell me what you imagined Ben and then let me show you what we can really do little party we seem to have had. All right. What did he say? He knows where we're from. But he doesn't understand much else. Oh, these bygones just can't handle their tea, can they? We'll have to report Quish to the other circuit. Well, nothing of a kind. What an important one. Clearly a violation, agreed. Why need someone like this can shut down the entire door? Is that what you want, Danny? Go back right now? Well, what does it matter? Even if he does know the dance, the inspector was not. A few more hours and we'll be done. Bye. What about him? We can't just leave. Come along, Reeve. You mustn't be late for the spectacle. Oh! What is this shit? Just water, thank your lucky stars. Oh. Oh, God, I hurt. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, proves you're alive. Couldn't tell by your pulse. Remember what I was doing something. Something was. Reeve. Tourist girl? Oh, hi. I can't I remember what they were talking about. They were talking about a special. Spectacle! Spe Oscar! 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 What happened tonight? Well, you tell me. Juicy part first. No, 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 tonight. What happened? What time is it? Uh, quarter for 11. Where are they? Where are the tourists? Are they here? What, in a hotel? No, I didn't see them. No, in town. Are they still in town? Well, they're up at the inn, as far as I know.
smell. Shh. Not a meteor shower. It beaks tonight. That's your big spectacle. Ben. Oh, they're from the future, Oscar. They're here for something else, something bad. The future? What? Oh, I was in, I was in the doctor's office when that other tourist Quish came in. He got X-rayed. You hang around the doctor's office a lot, Ben? No, I'm serious. Look, they got, they got passports. They carry these passports, and in them they got these, these dates. Dates and, and places where they go to. Look, I'm gonna go for a little Sam, no, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Oh, hey, listen, Ben, they're harmless. They're just tourists. They're not aliens. They're not anything else. They're just completely harmless. Whoa. I'll go find out for sure. You'd... Take my daughter. 
Bro, no, no way, I'm staying okay, with you! Take to the shelf for you. you. Yeah. Let's just see what we can do. Come on. Let's stay together now, everyone. Careful. Oh, man, not now. There's just too much to see. Watch your step. Please watch your step. I tried to tell you. I did try. California, 1906. That was the earthquake. Washington, 1980. That's why you had ash in your shoes. You'd just come from Mount St. Helens. What else? We got New Jersey, 1937. What was that? Was that a flood, tornado, what? This happened with the dirigible. Oh, yeah. Hindenburg Cross. Yeah. You do it all over the place, don't you? You're on a tour of these things. I have work here. Retropology. I study the past firsthand, how things worked. Artifacts, architecture, technical systems. You got some good shots in your head? You got some good pictures stored away up there? Huh? Tell me. Tell me! My psychographs are for your historical purposes, nothing else. Tell me, if there is a photo mat back home running a two-for-one deal, send me a set. Glossy finish! Because I just want a little keepsake for all this death and destruction. We cannot become involved. Rule number one of the travel code, no contamination of native... One more word out of you, Mr. Quish. And you'll be doing your research out of... dusty old books. We'll be moving on soon, leaving your town. Mm -hmm. Your town. As far as any of us are concerned, you're just a bright young bygoner who happened to make some rather astute assumptions. We're willing to let it go with that, if you are. Coming, Quish? Grand, isn't it? hundred dollars. Hey, already taken. I will give you a hundred dollars for this guy. Well, you can lay there for a second. Thank you. <sighs> so where have you been? Fighting fires, saving lives, being a hero. Come here. Hmm. You feel like heading back home? Oh, I want to stay here and help, if that's OK. All right. I'll stay, too. Just go home and sleep, Dad. <laughs> and get yourself cleaned up. You stink. <laughs> Come back with me later. OK. You sure? Yeah, maybe in a couple hours. Okay. That my ears or your fingers? Yeah, I never was any good. Carolyn tried to teach me, but... 
Could have handed it to you. You had them pegged. Those tourists. The future. Who would have thought it? Not me. I just... Not me. I mean, they... They look just like you or me. Well, better looking, of course, but still... I think that was the point, Oscar, that they were you and me. What? How do you figure that? Doesn't matter. They're gone, we're not. It's over. They aren't... Huh? They aren't gone. What are you talking? Rooms are empty. The, the beds are even made. Well, did you come in the front or the back? Oscar, yeah. if they're still here. Grain mill. It's been shut down for years. Well, I was just by here the other day with the tourists. Well, I didn't think anything of it. They just stopped and looked around. Didn't I see binoculars on your bus? Yeah. Go get them. Well, I gotta get in there and see what they're seeing. Sorry, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Everybody! Everybody leave! Please! Get out of here! Get away from this place! They're all upstairs. I tried to listen, but couldn't hear what they were saying. I just figured they're gonna kill us. Door's locked. And so, clearly, it was the doings of Mr. Quish that resulted in the actual contamination. It was he who violated the travel code. And it was Quish who chose to take lodging with bygoners. That was his decision. That was the result of an unlikely set of circumstances. Whose decision was it? Mine. The decision was mine. Hillary? You let my daughter die. Who? Your daughter perished, but you survived. That much, at least, is as it should be. The rest of this is an unexpected permutation. This is not as serious as it seems. We've recovered the remains. What, what other evidence is there? We leave behind only innuendo stories. And dead bodies. I don't believe this. You, you could have done something. You, you just, you just, you watched. Done something? Yeah, like warned us. <laughs> I'm not going to get into this too deeply with you, Mr. Wilson, but seeing as how you're already contaminated, listen closely and try to understand. We do not alter the past. That would destabilize our timescape, and we won't allow that because... Because it's a perfect world. Right. Because we enjoy things as they are. Yet we found in early dabbling that time was not the fragile thing that many assumed that it would be. It's quite resilient, really. That's why it is that we can allow these tours, but what we cannot allow is involvement in issues of life and death. Now, these are things that we can only watch as they sort themselves out. You understand? Is that why you left me in the hotel? You went there a free will. You had me drugged to make sure I'd stay there. Uh -huh. What was I? Somebody you just did a folk dance with? Maybe I wasn't even that. Maybe I was just some face in some old photograph, old, some painting on a museum wall. No, I never meant to leave you there. I, I didn't oh, know. Hey, 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 nobody know. cares. Nobody cares what happens to us. We're just bygoners, right? Rotting away in our graves before you were even born. Well, let me go. I got news for you. In this timescape, we're alive and you are the ones that are dead. You're dead because you don't feel. You're dead because you're so goddamn bored with your own world that you gotta come to ours to be disaster groupies. Stop. 
spectacle. <laughs> you're sad. You're just, just... Passports, please. Moving ahead to February 12th, 1999. Moving on, moving on. Now, you must remember that the Mardi Gras fire takes place in New Orleans, so that we all have to be up, 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 up. Yes, a little laughter, a little laughter. <laughs> remember now, everyone happy. Good girl. Life is grand. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Practice, 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 practice. <laughs> all right, everyone. Moving on, moving on. Ben, I know it seems so fixed, so unalterable, but there are really only two things anyone must do in life, and that's die and live until you die. The rest is up to you. I'll try not to forget you. It's hard. Breathe. Come along. Breathe. What you got there? Passport. Quish's passport. What's that? Oh. Oh, my, look at there. See, it's really a machine. <sighs> Question is, how do we get it to work? Question is, why do you care? You don't want to go where those Fruit Loops went. Gotta read the date somehow. <sighs> Does it feel the imprint when I get stamped, maybe? <sighs> and then turns the imprint to instructions. <sighs> Don't fuss with it. When I get stamped, when I get stamped, when I get stamped. What's the date? Nothing like what they used. That had to cost all of two thirty-nine at the dime store. <sighs> Made to the Made yesterday. To... That's right. And secondly, all of these pages have destinations. Now, you got to stand for that too. I'm at my destination. Then this is not going to work. So why are you stopping me? Somebody be there.
man. Ben? Oscar? Oscar? there would be trouble. I was a step behind you people, always psychographing the most, the most ludicrous things. Small, ovary! You warned him. I know that you did, and now we have to find him before he destabilizes everything. Go into town, find his vehicle, and hurry. Go, quickly, go! We have him long before the spectacle, hurry! Dad. Dad? <coughs> what happened to your face? And and your clothes? Just come here. Now jump. What the what? On me. Come on, jump. You? Do you know how much I weigh now? A lot more than me used to weigh. Just jump. please jump. Come on, what are you waiting for? Local constabulary, Ben. For the sound of things, we won't be long. No, wait, wait a second. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to take her back. I'm trying to get her away from here. We... And with the station, can babysit tonight? Sheriff's station. Hey! No, wait, wait. Let him go. You, you can't take me there. I mean, just not there, not tonight. Leave him wait. alone! Leave him alone! Wait a minute, wait a minute! I told you this afternoon what would happen if you showed your face around here again. Please, let me... Please, please. All right, let him have your say. In a few hours, there won't be any police station, and there won't be any hotel. There's not going to be anything at all. And why is that? A meteorite. It's going to bury the west half of Main Street just after 11 o'clock tonight. A meteorite? Don't ask me how I know. I wouldn't dream. It's, it's going to happen. It will. Yeah, come on. Less mouth more. Dad! Hillary! Dad! Get away from me! Get away from this place! Hillary. What did he mean? You go back inside now. What did he mean by that? It's over. It's all over. Oh, God. We are not going to spend the whole night here, are we? No. We're not? 
I get off at midnight. Never gave me a phone call. I get one phone call. I get one phone call, right? Lawyer's not gonna help you, not this time of night. I want the phone! Now! Yeah. Hello? You gotta do something for me. Who is this, Oscar? Across the street, sheriff station. Talk to me, Ben. I'm gonna talk to you, warn you tonight. Ben, are you listening to me? Please talk to me. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. I just, I don't know who you are. You just you gotta get over here. Just get over here right now. I can't explain, but you, you gotta trust me, Ben. Yeah, yeah. I'll see what I can do. No, no. You don't see about anything. You don't drink the tea either. She's making you tea, Ben. Please don't drink the tea. Don't drink the tea. Just get out of there. Just get your keys. Just get to the keys to the truck. Just get out. Walk out of there. And just get your ass over here before your daughter has to die all over again. You got that? Hey, what can I do for... What dog shit is this? You tell me. Somebody called me, said they want to talk to me about my dog. So... Don't move. What? Who moved? I turned. I just, I was here. I just over... don't move. I'm... Still here. All right, Avini. I don't know how you got out of there, but I do know how you're going back in. Come on, come on. What is this? This Caldwell? Caldwell do this? Or did you dream this one up all Yo, by yourself? All right. You got a problem with the presidential suite? Move on to the honeymoon. What the? Get the keys. The keys, the keys, the keys, the keys. Get him! Now open the door. Go down, open the door. Tell me what's going on here. We're breaking out of jail, Ben. Come on! Why do you look like me? Christ, just think about it for two seconds, and then you'll figure it out. But go, unlock the door while you're thinking, okay? Tourists, just wait a minute. This, this is something to do with. Remember their passports? I used one to come back. So I'm you, you're me, and this guy is tougher than he looks. Don't help. Whatever you do, don't help. How come we can both be in the same place at the same time? Fuck the physics, man! By the time you figure out whether it's possible or not, we're gonna be dead. Twice! So let's get the hell out of here. Great, now get the truck. Hurry up, let's go. I'll drive, all right? All right, go ahead, you drive. My truck. Meteor. That's it? That's the spectacle? Yeah, 11.07, that's when it hits. So what are we doing? We're getting Hillary. What about everybody else? 
Stop right here, this is far enough. You're better off here. Trust me. Okay, let's go. Caldwell's never answered me. About what? How many people are gonna die? Five, fifty? Come on, tell what me how many there? census take. The whole west end of town was it. The whole west. Yeah. You gonna drive? So we just grab Hillary and run. We don't tell anyone else. I tried to talk to Caldwell and wound up in a cozy little room at Ground Zero, all right? Wait, let's, let's just think this through first. Nothing happens to Hillary tonight. It's tomorrow that we're wrong. Wrong, we worry about. now, tonight. But if it's a gas explosion at the... You haven't seen what I've seen. You haven't seen a goddamn thing yet. And if you had, you wouldn't be taking chances with Who her life. i taking chances? Just pull over. I'm driving. Where? Straight to Caldwell's and straight out of town? You don't have the guts to do it? Huh? I do. Pull I'm over. I'm not saying we shouldn't go get her. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that you... Wait a minute, are you, wait, are you calling me a Oh, coward? what, you gonna deny it, huh? You gonna deny it to me? Oh, yeah, beautiful. This is the guy who bailed out on his dying wife. I was gone for help. You were running, man. Town was north, you ran south, and they saw. And now it's happening all over again. Well, this time it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, because you're gonna stick it out to the end. You got that? The end. All way, Benny. You got a better idea? Some brilliant plan to save everybody. Let's hear it. No, I don't. I knew you didn't. I don't know what to do about it. Oh, man. But whatever we do, better do it pretty damn fast. Caldwell. Look, I'm down here at the station. Deputies MIA and so is Wilson. Just, just a minute. Just a minute. <coughs> you escaped? Unless they went out for Skittles and beer. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Ben. How long ago? Hard to say. Could be headed up your way. You want me to come up? No bother. We won't be here. Get Hillary. What in the name of God is that?
What is it, little darling? What the devil's going on here, anyway? Well, I got their attention. Just another minute. Yeah, let's all just wait right here. Get out of my way, Leah. Come on, let her through. Let her through. Let her through. Dad! Dad! Is that what this is all about? Your daughter and the judge? Let me through. Let me through. Up she dizzy. It's all right, man. It's all right. What the hell is going on up here now? My second yes, right after Quasimodo. <laughs> so what's it all about, then? You got a grievance, Aaron? Hell, there's no reason to wait till next week. We could have our hearing right now, Ben. Huh? Well, tell us something, Ben. Otherwise, we're all going back to bed. It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be scary. It's gonna sound like the end of everything we know. I mean, you got a joke? Story. Hey, I know. Tell us the one about your premonition. You remember that, don't you, huh? The one where the sky is falling. It seems that Ben here thinks we're going to be visited by calamity. What was it, an asteroid, Ben? No, 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 no. Meteorite. Hey, it shall fall from the heaven and smite this very spot. Oscar, what time you got? It's time to settle, Ben. You're here, I'm here. Jury of our peers, hell, jury of half the goddamn county. Just what is it you want to say? Hold on. You just hold on. You just hold on to me. You just hold on to me for a minute. Everybody, just... Just hold on.
the school. Anywhere but the school. I'll listen to you now. Did you see the hotel? It's, it's just not there. Good to see you, Sue. Real good to see you. still deaths, Mr. Wilson. I figured there had to be some. So where are they, all your, all your pals? Well, the tour's been canceled. In fact, all tours have been suspended pending a decision. On? On whether or not to destabilize this destabilization. <laughs> Didn't it occur to you that we can correct all this, that, that we can go back to yesterday and do this all again if we choose? If we find that this has changed our world, we can paint right over this timescape. We can make it never happen. But you won't. No. Would we be standing here talking about it if it never happened? Here's another one for you to chew on. Maybe we did change your world tonight. Maybe we made it a little less perfect, a little less grand. Maybe, just maybe, you liked it a little bit more. Remarkable thought. Not bad for a bygone. Mr. Wilson, why don't you come along with me and I'll take you back where you belong. <laughs> Tomorrow. You worried I'll screw something else up? There is purpose to time, you know. Keeps everything from happening all at once. refundable up to 48 hours prior to arrival and will be set. Check or charge. make them stay here so, so we can like screw up on them what are friends for right 
that Oscar would come. Maybe he'd even stay inside this time. Dad? Dad?